All right, the winds are up today. Doc and I get ready to hit the water, but I tell you what, it's going to be a rough one today. Stand by to get wet, because it's going to be rough. Here we go. All right, it's rough in here. Check out the waves crashing everywhere. It's even hard to push this uh, detector through the water here right now. Woo! All right, this is going to be a rough one today. Stand, to, stand by. How did y'all see, uh, Doc has this salt chef, it's called, it's roofed in and slices through the water really easy. That's a lot better than Doc. Yeah, it does. That's a nice one right there. I don't have that, so it's hard for me to push it through the water, but we're making out. Here we go. All right, not getting many targets, and this was a little shaky target, but it's only one I had, so I dug it. Sure enough, it's a steel earring, and that's normally what those, uh, Steel kind of target for the high tone, or I guess the round is giving it a little higher tone too. All right, all right, first nice target number 58. See if we can't get in here and get this target here. All right, 58 is a good number. That's a gold number. We did not get it yet. All it takes is one target, right? All right, we ain't got it yet. Alright, get down here a little deeper. Hope you're thinking this here. Deeper though. Definitely down in there, so there's a 58 solid too. It's not wavering. Get that out of there. Woo, come on now. Give it to me. Now. Give it to me. Right in that area, right there, I believe. Well, I don't hear it quite as good anymore, but definitely down in the hole, though. It's going deeper, unfortunately. Maybe we got that time. Let's see what we got here. We did, and it is some kind of jewelry. It's a 50s, too, so I don't know what we got. I see rust on it though. Definitely a piece of jewelry, some kind of chain. But I see rust color and something else on it. So we'll check it out, close out, but I think it's piece of junk. Here we go. Alright, as you see, Doc's digging in this rough water. He's got a target right up here near the uh, shoreline. Hadn't got it yet though. Alright, Doc, let's see what we got, buddy. Going deep on this one. Going deep. Alright, Doc, what we got target for? Wow, but he got it! Successful uh, recovery of a target. That's the main thing. Certainly worth it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just be some rough relic cutting here. I think I got a target here, but it's really hard to get a target on it. There it is right there. 95. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to even get it. Whoa. Man, this is tough. Woo! Can't can get my scoop down again. There it is. Best I can anyway. Here we go. Alright, woo! Hopefully we got it. I don't hear it. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. It's a quarter. There we go. Got a second quarter. I actually got one other one. Here we go. Alright, I got a target here. I thought it'd just be a dime or something, but it looks like we may have a ring. I think it's probably going to be sterling. Look at that. We got a ring, baby! I would have to gamble that's going to be sterling right there. Pretty cool. All right, Doc, let's buy some more. Looks like silver, dude. It's silver, yeah. Right, yeah. All right, I'm chasing it, chasing this target. Anybody see anything in there? Because I did not see I was one second from flipping this basket over. Do y'all see it yet? How about now? It's a ring. Little tiny sterling silver toe ring right there. Woo! Finally got it. All right. Oh, that was a tough one to get to. That was rough. All right, here we go. I right, another one I'm chasing around everywhere. Oh my god, it came out and was floating around. It's a little butterfly. So we all still find some targets here, but the wind is killing us in the waves. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Doc, what you got, man? I got a G ring. A G for Gig Master. I might have to confiscate that one, Doc. <laughs> Did it say Gig Master? I, I like thought it said Goofball. I like that. A Goofball or Gig Master? <laughs> Which one? I'm not sure. Probably both. A little bit of both. It's an older junker right yeah. there. Yeah, it's nice. Awesome, man. All right, third ring for the day, boys. Awesome. I'm keeping up. 
Alright, we got a little turkey down there and I went after it and I think I see it in the basket. A junk ring right there. I think. Yeah, I think that's a toe ring. But it's going to be a, a junk toe ring. I think the last one was silver. But this one is a uh, copper look to it. So I'm thinking copper on that one. But hey, ring number four for today, horse. Awesome, man. I like it. It's a pretty one, though. Alright, here we go. Alright, Doc's out there. He's fighting it. You go, Doc. I know you can do it. Woo! That's tough out there. Alright, quick update. We're still digging a few coins here and there. A few junk stuff, but uh, nothing else really great since our last uh, update. So, uh, we're going to head on to another section of this uh, beach here and see what we do. Y'all ready? It may have calmed down just a little bit, not much, yo. Alright, here we go. Well, it's not a coin, it's not a ring, but I'll take it. It's a pocket knife. Been there for a while, too. Looks like it's probably pretty nice at one time. We'll see if we can clean it up. Alright, here we go. Alright, I had a 49. I couldn't get it up. Finally got it up, and I see something in the bottom, Doc. What do you think, man? I think it's going to be a junker, but I think you got a ring. What do you think? Ah, uh, it's got Silver? some little stuff, a little diamonds maybe going around it. Might be the last stainless target steel. of the day. Stainless steel. I'm thinking stainless, yeah, stainless steel, steel too. Stainless steel. I can tell just by the look of it. Oh man. Yeah, I'm thinking stainless that, steel. That, on that size one too. ring would have rang up higher than a 47 if that was gold. Yep. Yep. The, that that would have been more in the 60s. That'd be like a 60 if it was gold, 60s, probably. Yeah. It's got some stones in it, but I did not see a market on the inside, so I'm thinking probably stainless steel. Hey, but it's a ring. It counts. All right, we're getting ready to get out of here right now. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we're adding four more rings to the total. We're trying to move in on 2021's numbers, but I don't know if we're quite going to make it. I don't know. we still got a few months to go, and sometime we get a good storm out there where you can rack them up. So keep your fingers crossed. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, Doc and I did a beach today, and Doc ended up with a, a Gigmaster ring. Had a, had a ring. I put some pictures up there. A G on it. Gig Master or Goofball, we're not sure which one it's for, but uh, anyway, he did get a ring and some change, and we got some more stuff right here. Y'all ready to check it out? Let's do it. All right, check that out right there. Look at that battery, how much it decayed in that water. We try to get these out of the environment in that water like that for sure. Uh, the normal stuff, his little hair bread, uh, pop tops and stuff. I think over $5 in clad, which is not bad. Y'all saw me dig the chain. After I got it home, I thought it was like a little piece of a chain come up. But after I got it home separate, it's actually three chains in there. Somebody must have laid all their jewelry on a on a, bl on a blanket on the beach or whatever. And they picked it up and, and they all went off. And it's junk, though. You can see the rust on it right there. I didn't really look at these, but they, they just don't look like it'd be anything. And you see a little rust right there. It looks like right there, so... I'll double check this, I'll let you know, but it looks like rust right there. But I need to check that just to make sure, but pretty sure all that's probably junk. Uh, one knife, we'll try to kind of clean that up. We'll see if we put an electrolysis, see if we get that working maybe. A couple of earrings, a pendant. Uh, this is a toe ring. It's a copper, you can see it right there. Pretty much what I call junk anyway. Now this ring fooled me. When I found that, it had a nice high tone. I said, well, that's, that's definitely silver, right? It's got silver, no rust color on it anywhere. But I get home, there's no markings, and you, you look at a microscope and you see a little bit of um, copper coming through right there. So that is junk. I thought it was going to be a decent ring, and it's, it'll probably buff out right there. But it, I can see it kind of bulging in one spot, so that tells me it's kind of got corrosion underneath this outer skin of silver, whatever that is. So eh, pretty much junk. Uh, this is the last ring I found, like my last target. It was a 49.50, and... Uh, I kept kind of moving around on me, but I finally got out, and I thought it could have been gold, and it could have been, but um, a, a gold ring that big would probably would have rung up probably around 60 maybe, 55, 60, but this was like a 50. And stainless steel will ring up uh, low on your detector. I know I find these stainless steel uh, gauges that go in the ears, and they ring really low like that. So anyway, stainless steel on that, but we did get one silver ring toe ring right here that does have 925 written on the inside that will buff out so we did get silver today silver's the best of it uh and, and of course five bucks is, is not bad either but anyway uh we'll probably 
some of these places I'm hitting now is going to be the last time I hit these until next year, probably. So that's probably the last time on that beach. I got a couple more to hit, hit since Labor Day, you know, just to try to say, okay, we're done with that beach. Unless we get a storm, that's a whole other story. But anyway, I'm trying to hit some of these places uh, one last time before we get in the field because the field's coming up real soon. All right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you tomorrow. We're going somewhere. Stay tuned.